So now, let's go to the safeguarding tendencies of Adlerian theory. Safeguarding patterns of behavior to protect their exaggerated sense of self esteem against public disgrace. It enable people to hide their inflated self image and to maintain their current style of life. There are three safeguarding tendencies. First is the excuses. Second one is the aggression and the last is withdrawal. So, excuses. Excuses is the most common. It expressed in the statement by yes, but, or, if only. Second one is aggression. It is to protect the fragile self-esteem of oneself. Take form of depreciation, accusation, or self-accusation. Depreciation. It is the undervalue or it undervalue other people's achievement and to overvalue one's own. The accusation. Blame others for one's failures and seek revenge. Self-accusation. One own tenuous self-esteem, marked by self-torture and guilt, including masochism, depression, suicide, as means of hurting people who are close to them. Withdrawal. Halted when people run away from difficulties. Safeguarding through distance. There are four modes of safeguarding through withdrawal. Moving backward. Reverting to a more secure period of life, sometimes conscious and directed at maintaining an inflated goal of superiority. The standing still. You do not move in any direction. Avoid all responsibility by ensuring themselves against any threat of failure. So, hesitating. Hmm. Hesitate or vacillate when faced with difficult problems. The last one is... Constructing obstacles. Least severe. People build a straw house to show they can knock it down. <laughs> Safeguarding tendencies are self-defeating because they build in goals of self-interest and personal superiority. It's, you know, actually block them from securing authentic feelings of self-esteem.